All right, hello everyone and welcome to a special New Year's stream here on Codabos Games where we are playing the Guild 2 Renaissance. And I, uh, as I said on the announcement video for this, I started playing this game fairly recently. It's one of those that's been in my library for ages and I bought it on a sale for super cheap and just hadn't got around to giving it a go and uh, it's freaking Awesome. I keep describing it as almost like a casual Crusader Kings, as you are creating a dynasty to, you know, become powerful and even get into politics, etc. But instead of trying to form a giant empire, instead you're making businesses and getting into, like, local town-level politics. And I think that's interesting. So we are going to head into single player. Now, I do actually have a uh, save file started right as you start the game just in case whatever we do start turns out not so great which i'll discuss why in a moment and we are going to be on the hansa map this is a freaking awesome map as it's the largest in the game with four freaking villages well a city two towns and a village and we are going to be starting up here in Bergen, as it is the smallest of the settlements here and uh yeah I think it'll be good to start the boat cult in the small town up there in Scandinavia and then spread it to the world. So yes, that should be good. Now we're going to be playing in one year rounds. So every day night cycle is going to be one year rather than the defaulted four. And we are going to be playing with 12 dynasties on the map total. So including us, there will be 12 families trying to make it big. We're going to be playing just on a normal difficulty there. And uh, yeah, go with that red cross. And we are, of course, if we hit start here, going to be playing a scholar. We have our Kotobos family. And my zodiac sign, I'm going with Aries because it gives you one extra point in Constitution. And Constitution is your life. Not just your hit points, but also your life expectancy. And since we are trying to make dynasties, once your dynasty dies, you're done. So I kind of need my guy to live a while. <laughs> so that would be that would be good. Hey, Nightmare, welcome to the stream. Been a while since I've seen you on a stream, my friend. Glad to have you around. Uh, now, other than that, I've put in, uh, besides some, we put in some extra points in the Constitution here. Some rhetoric. I don't know why I have dexterity there. Oh, it, that, like, helps you move faster, yeah? Yeah, movement speed. Not exactly important for a scholar, but holy crap, I like them to go at least a little bit quicker. So probably not the most ideal build ever, but yeah, I'm still new to the game. And... Then we can go to uh, customizing the character, and I honestly never spent too much time on this because, well, again, it's a dynasty game. We're going to be controlling several characters, and eventually, <laughs> oh, he's going to go away. But I do like the hat, so we're going to keep with that. Now, we're going to hit start game, and I don't know if we're actually going to use this map. Basically, what I'm hoping is uh, that... It's not horrible, because since there's 12 families on the map, all of them get placed randomly. So we could end up in the smallest town here of Bergen with four other families, and that will get us killed. Especially because I'm still new to the game and don't know what I'm doing. So if it has a lot of families in Bergen, I may bow out and go to that uh, save file that I'd created earlier that's a start. Oh, there we go. Let's pause. And let's see. What do we got here? What do we have? All right, obviously there's one other family with blue flag there. That's them. There's a third. Oh, God. Oh, ooh. oh boy, they own the mine. They're going to be rich. <laughs> An AI uh, family starting out with a mine is insane because they're going to make a crap load of money. So actually, the world doesn't look too bad. There's only two other families here in town. And neither are scholars. We have a patron with a fishing dock over there and craftsman with a mine. Huh. You know what? I may go with this. I may go with this. Uh, like I said, I had created a save file if I just go to it real quick. It's the same start date and everything, like right as we start the game. But it only has one other family in Bergen. Because I wanted a safe bet just in case. But you know what? This one isn't bad. Only two families here besides us. 
That is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So we're going to keep with it. In fact, I'm just going to save over my Bergen boat cult thing there. Lovely. All right. I'm pleased. And we are going to go and buy this church down here because why build when we can buy? <laughs> All right. And pause. There we go. You have bought a building. We now own the church, and I'm going to pause again and actually turn down my headphones a little. Those are a bit loud. All right, so I've never really played a scholar, <laughs> and I don't know if... Holy crap, there's a pirate haven here. Hi. I've never seen that pop in Bergen. Usually there's a, a pub here. Well, no one owns it, so if we get a rogue for a wife, we could purchase a pirate haven. Oh my. Oh my, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh yes, and JStorm, uh, arcane knowledge is going to be important for this character because that's how... Like, most of the... Uh, most of the professions use handicraft when they're building things, but for the scholar it's arcane knowledge. I probably should have put a point or two into it, but eh, we'll take care of that as we get some more points here. So we're going to bring my guy Ooh, over to the talks. church. We're going to take a couple of early upgrades. Yeah, let's get the full staff. I don't know if I'll need the... I mean, we'll need the baptismal. This allows you to change someone's faith. So uh, we're Protestants. And actually, what is the makeup of this place? 50-50 between ca uh, Catholics and Protestants. Okay, that's good to know. So yeah, we don't necessarily need this yet, but I do want the stained glass to make the people want to come in more. And this to increase productivity. I'll buy some other things later. So let's uh, hire some workers and get that apprentice. Get another apprentice. Beautiful. And put them to making things. Let's see. Uh, you yes. go get water. You also go get water. You start I'll making right that, and actually I will Queen make that Bono. too. And you! Where to? You little cart! I need you to go over here, and we're going to go buy long. some planks to start making poems. A counting house is buying goods for a great celebration. Oh, good for them. I can't make those things. I still can't believe there's a pirate haven here. Every time I've looked at this map, it's always been a pub. Huh, I didn't know that could happen, where, like, the preset buildings that the start in the game could be different. It's kind of cool, though. It's kind of cool. All right, we're going to turn time up because, holy crap, is it slow. And let's actually check if there are any good candidates. <gasps> there's a rogue. All right, we're courting. I wasn't planning on courting immediately, but we're courting now. All right, sh oh, she's there. You. Anything wrong? That, that was her, right? That is her. Yes, it's a rogue. Holy crap, we can... <gasps> we're going to have a pirate haven. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Cancel action, cancel action. No, don't hire as an employee. We need to... Now what? Court her. Divide yes. and conquer. Do it, do it. Turn up to fast forward. Get him over there quick. Wait, where's she going? Oh, she's, she went into the pest house. Oh, no, is she sick? Oh, please don't let her die of an illness before I can court her. All right, let's go oh, no. inside. All right. Oh, recording. A courtship has begun. Beautiful. Though I just saw her put on... Oh, God, I think we actually may be a little screwed. I don't think she's a rogue anymore. Because she came in here, and I saw that she had on the... Uh, the nurse robes. Oh, crap. Usually when that happens, it clears their profession. Yep, she's not on the list anymore. There's another one. Crap, she's, oh, she's older, which means not as many good childbearing years. <laughs> you gotta think about these things in Dynasty games. Oh, man. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, this is bad. All right, okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go for the other lady. I mean, I know we just started a courting, but 
Yeah, because it's not even showing her up as being in, uh, being courted in here. So yeah, we're gonna have to go for an older lady, but she is also a rogue, so eh, it'll work. And I just need her to have a, a kid or two, and then we'll be good. God, that sounds awful, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's a dynasty game. You do what you can. All right. Let's get my character in here. Oh, God. Where did she run to now? Aha! There she is. Perfect. And now let the begun. most unromantic courting ever begin. And I have to thank, as with pretty much everything I know in this game, has come from watching the videos of Madry Bread. He has a really good series of tutorials on this. And, uh, yeah, apparently the quickest way to court someone is to, uh, well, first we need to compliment her so we get some more points with her in our relationship because if we go there, that's the progress of the courting. And then, since we have a cooldown timer, we ask her to follow us. And she'll follow us for two hours. <laughs> and then we just click one of these again. Rinse and repeat. And that will get us a wife quick. Oh, God. All right. So now we embrace. There we go. Some lovely background noises going on. Ask her to follow again. Oh, no. <laughs> the most romantic of courtings. Basically, it's, it's sim courting. Just keep saying good things and they'll eventually fall for you. Over and over in the same day. All right. Beguile her. Perfect. Then follow again. <laughs> ah, quality entertainment with this. Also, what were these things? Well, the couple has begun. Oop. And the uh, the band is going to the public house Lumpy and Liquid in Bergen. Oh, hey, the band's going to be here in Bergen. Cool, cool. I did tell her to follow us, right? Let's do it again. Oh, no, she's not following me anymore. Oh, boy. Did she go in the pub? Hmm. All right, actually, before we jump in the pub, I completely forgot that I was going to be buying some uh, pine wood. Let's get uh, just 20 for now. It's not exactly the best of systems for uh, selecting exactly what you need. And you go there. Oh, I didn't mean to tell him to unload and go back, but yeah, we can actually just redo that real quick. Oh, and I hit the wrong thing. Just unload. Just unload. I think I accidentally clicked on again. Alright. So. I need the things. We need to move all this stuff down here. Because this is what people are going to buy when they come to for, uh, for mass. I'll pop that in there too. All of you guys start to making right parchment. To there it goes. So we can start making poems, which are the big moneymaker, from what I've read. And, okay, let's find her. Did she go in the pub? Yeah, she went in the pub, didn't she? Yep, she's rocking out. Alright, which did we do last? Did we beguile her last? Because if you do the same thing twice in a row, it doesn't go well. Alright, go in. And... Alright. Go in for the kiss! Again, the most romantic of courtings. Follow again. We could dance. We could ask her to dance, and that's actually a pretty good raise to uh, the progress. But it costs 300 gold, and uh-uh. Uh-uh. All right, all right, all right. And compliment! And I think this should do it. Someone has fallen yep. in love with you. We can now get married. How romantic. And we're just going to do it here because to heck with going to the monastery for 400 gold. And bam, we're married. And she's a rogue! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about this. Alright, I need both of you guys to go Indeed, home and immediately make a kid. And now? We need a kid. <laughs> Alright, and let that, let me actually, I haven't really had a chance to look over at chat. We have anything over here? Pause real quick. Uh, da da da. It's working. Okay, this game makes me want to play Skyrim. Really? Sergeant Monkey, this makes you want to play Skyrim? <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, Medieval World, that'll do it. Alright, you guys spend the night together, have a child. I should probably go over to the church and do a sermon, but eh, oh well. Oh god, how much is this thing going to cost? It's like 8,000, isn't it? Oh, yep, 8,000. 8,000. Crap. 
All right, the baby making is already done. Go to the church, my friend. And give a sermon. Has expired. There we go. And we're going to also praise the mayor during this sermon so we can hopefully get some points with her. So that'll be good. Demand expired. Blah, blah, blah. Our wife is now pregnant. So our dynasty is now insured. Even if we die, we have a wife and kid now to take over. And that, that makes me happy. How's the production of uh, the stuff going? Uh, we got 24 paper right now. That's good. That's good. That's good. Once he's done giving a sermon, I'll put him back on making hosts. Since we do have one wheat flour left. Okay. And uh, I should probably buy my title, shouldn't I? So we can have a second building. I don't actually need it yet. Because we don't have the 8,000 to buy the Pirate Cove. Oh, boy. But what the hell? We'll take the title anyways. Let's get down to business. 500? Now, I'll take you it. will be notified as soon as the matter has been decided. Okay. You can buy raw materials at a good price in a counting house. That's always good. All right. We got our privileges. We can now own two businesses. Congratulations. We are now the council whose a yeoman. Wisdom knows no awesome. And what are these? Bruges selling wool. Hamburg offering trading contract for the Grand Duke of Moscow. Nope. All right. Okay, we're back to fast forward. Oh, my guy is done giving a sermon. You produce hosts. And then once we have that, I'll have you start making poems. All right, so back over to the chat. You now have a daughter. Hey, we got a kid. All right, let's actually name him after someone in chat over here for one of you lovely people who came. Uh, you know what? Nightmare. It's been a while since you've been on one, so I will name my daughter Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, seems apt for a kid. There we go. All right, now my wife, unfortunately... Oh, we can't afford this yet. I could make her a pub. We could build her a pub. That might be a good way to go. Because that's usually what's there, and that was actually going to be my plan. I'd own a church, and then my wife would be a rogue in a pub, and we'd be able to, you know, take politics with her stabbing people and me taking the position of mayor. But now we have a pirate haven. Yeah, you know what? Maybe the pub would be good. I'll have to think about that for a bit. For now, she needs to train. There we go. We'll do that. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What else has gone on over in chat? Thanks for this way. Production has Oop. been interrupted. Oh, of course it has. That would be the hosts, yes. So you, start making poems. Variatio poems delicate. will sell very well. And in fact, I'm going to move one of you guys over to poems too. There's not much of the wood left. Wow, we went through a lot of those hosts on just one sermon. Huh. Well, I want some money, so I'm going to sell some holy water. <laughs> Might as well. Doesn't make you much, but hey, uh, it'll hurry. give you a couple hundred and it'll, co it'll uh, cover wages for the day, basically. One full cartload. How's my wife and kid doing? She's training. Good. Where's the kid? Nope, she's running around. Oh, God. Lots of things just popped up. What the? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Stupid thing. Stupid thing. There will be war. Oh. Okay, guys. Um, I kind of want to do something stupid. Actually, we do have money. We could... Ooh, hey. Uh, I have a plan. First, let's check the wife and give her some constitution. Because she's going to need it. Since I don't have a business for her yet, I'm going to send my wife off to war. <laughs> I think that'll be a lovely plan. Now, unfortunately, Bergen is still a village, so I don't think... Well, we'll check. we got to... Run there anyway, so we're past it. I don't think I can send her through this. I think I'm going to have to take her all the way to Hamburg to join the war. 
But yeah, if we can join the war... No, we can't. We can only buy war materials there, and I'm not known enough for that. So, down to Hamburg we go. My dear, it's time for you to go to war. And if... If production she lives, has been interrupted. if we win the war, oh god, hold on, production interrupted. Okay, let's do that, which was, uh, yes, the wood. All on the poems! So yeah, if I sent her to war, if we win, we get money. And our family will get some imperial fame, which is important for the higher level uh, noble titles. Or actually, any of the noble titles. Once you get above citizen, you have to have... Uh, someone went neutral with us. Okay. You have to have some sort of imperial fame to become a nobleman. The special offer in accounting house. Yes, don't care. Blah, 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 blah. All right, where is she at? We got to follow her. Oh, she's there. Oh, oh, and just in time, too. Yes. Join the war. Now, we could actually hire people, but I don't want to waste my money right now. I'm just going to send her. This is probably a horrible idea. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, uh, she she could potentially die in the war, and then we're out of wife. But she had a kid already, so you know we're good. <laughs> oh, I'm awful! I'm awful. Let's all right. Praise someone again for with your sermon. I actually don't want to get on this family's bad side. They are going to be super rich in this town because they. Oh wait, no, they're the. Um, no, they're the patrons. They're the fishermen. I honestly don't care too much about them. Back to the mayor. All right. Goods are for sale at Faith Man, I hope my wife doesn't die, country. but, I mean, if she does, it's honestly not that big of a deal. <laughs> oh, I'm an awful person. You, go get more wheat. Go here. Production has been interrupted. Of course it has. Am I out of wood? Ooh. Oh, if I should have loaded the poems up on the cart... I'm I'm out of I'm out of parchment. Dang. I should have loaded that up with poems beforehand. Oh well. Oh well. We'll get wheat and more pine wood. All the pine wood. Alright, let's get all the wheat too. We gotta make more hosts. You return. The wagon is rolling. Okay, okay. Yeah, she's probably going to die at war. She doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, constitution or martial ability. I think, though, even if she does die, I think we still get the imperial fame. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> All right, let's also take 20 water, too. All right, you guys. Yes. Both of you there. Making more parchment. Eh, actually, one of you making hosts. And I gotta add a little bit more holy water back to the stash. So they can actually make the hosts. And Where you! you like to go to? Let's see how much money this makes us. No road is too long. It's gonna stay here. Oh, the sales new day. tax has been changed. Alright. Uh we at the Council of Hansa hereby proudly announce that our troops caused to the Kingdom of Denmark a devastating defeat. <gasps> oh my god, and we got money. She's still alive! <laughs> Yay, we got 17... Uh, 1700. Well, 1750. Awesome. And our wife didn't die, I'm so happy. Alright, let's see how much this sells for. Oh, wow! Oh my god, we can afford the boat place now. This is going much better than I anticipated it would. I, uh, since I haven't played the, the uh, Scholar before, I thought that this Court would go a lot more slowly. Changed. Huh. Cool. We'll put him back on that production. Sell some more holy water. There we go. Good, good, good. Uh, eh, 8% church tithe. I mean, technically, that's less than a tithe. Tithe is supposed to be a tenth, but, you know... She survived the war and returns home! What is is it? she actually home? Oh my god, she is. Where the hell are you? Oh wow, she's she's all the way over there! Okay, wow, that's gonna take you a while to get home, but come home you will! 
All right, let's actually just double click that real quick. And I accidentally turned the camera. Come back, my dear. Go to the house for now. We can buy this. But then we also have to build the boat, I believe. I've never actually used one of these before. I have played as a rogue, but I I uh, played on a map that didn't have any water. So I went with, like, the mercenary encampment things. And I think you have to build a boat for this. I don't know what that costs, but you know what? Let's purchase the freaking building! Yes! You have bought a building. Now, if I remember right, for making a boat, yep, just in here. How much does this cost? Oh, ouch, ouch. Oh, well, we can't, we can't make that yet. But we have the building. We can make that money pretty easily, not too difficult. We just need to make more poems. I'm happy about this. And I think this is very fitting for us. We are the Boat Cult, which actually reminds me. We need to change the name of our uh, building here. Let's see. Uh... There we go. The first sanctuary of the boat. <laughs> and now we have a pirate haven. Uh, what should we call that? Hmm. 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 And nightmare. Yes, you do need to actually eat your food. Don't don't starve. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. What to name this? I honestly don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, that'll be temporary. The boatyard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Back to fast forward. Actually, I'm just gonna put it to. Uh, very fast for now. Uh, contract in London that I can't do. We bought the thing. Is everything going in here? Good so far. Keep making hosts. Yeah, this is going much better than I expected. But yes, it'll be great having this pirate haven because we can then use a holy boat to go and... Uh, I believe, if I'm remembering what I read about these, to, like, raid these counting houses. I mean, we're, we're pirates at that point. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> A dispute has been resolved. Really? I didn't know I had a dispute with them, but okay, cool. Cool. All right, how's politics in this town right now? Yeah, they've got them as the mediator. Patron level three... I mean, they've got a good business in this fishing shack. I, I've I, my favorite character character type right uh, so far has been the patron, and I love these fishing shacks because the uh, the fried herring, it costs you nothing to make, and you make so much money off of them. Oh man, they've already made a bake shop too. No one owns the forge, but I wouldn't put it past the craftsman to buy that at some point. See, it's going to be interesting having the two families here. Hmm. Let's actually check on... Are they neutral to me at the moment? They do appear to be. Alright. Which, honestly, I actually want to check something. Where have most of the families ended up? So we have three families here in Bergen. Looks like we have one, two, three in London? Yeah, it looks like three in London. One, two... Only two in Hamburg? Yeah, I'm only seeing two. What the hell was that sound just then? I don't know, but that was very, very weird. <laughs> I thought something exploded, but I've never heard that before in this game. But wow, only two in Hamburg, huh? That's... Interesting. Of course, they're all they're all over in Danzig. We've got one, two, three, four. Four families in Danzig. Does that add up? So three, six, seven. Yeah, that adds up. So four here, three in Bergen, three in London, and two in Hamburg. Two families having the run of the Imperial Capital. Oh, 
and they're both they're both rogues. <laughs> of course they are. Of course they are. Oh, why wouldn't they be? Well, they're gonna be stabbing each other a lot. Okay. Back to my church. I'm back to very fast. Hmm. All right. I'm happy with this so far. Oh, what the hell was that sound again? I've never heard this game make that sound before. 